When you think about bucket list travel destinations, Australia is often in the top five of those wish lists. Well, this fall, Sharon Derek is going there with a holiday vacations group. She's here to invite you all along, and it's filling up. It is. Uh, so far, at least this is as a couple of days ago, we had 17 people. That's, that's so good. So I don't know that's how good. many people they'll take, but I mean, the more the merrier. Yeah, I know um, you like this. You're excited about this one, right? You know, I am really excited. Um, my husband and I love to travel. And we've been all over the Caribbean and Mexico, but and have always wanted to go to Australia. But I mean, this is the kind of trip that you really couldn't do on your own, because we're moving all over yeah. the continent. And the I mean, group you travel, need somebody that knows what they're doing to plan something like this. It's so perfect because there are a lot of places to go. Um, this is your brochure. Look at that cute koala on the front. You'll be seeing those koalas in, I'm in so person excited. for koalas sure. Koalas and kangaroos. So and it's um, it's in October. Uh, mm -hmm. what's, what's, what are the dates exactly, Sharon? The 9th through the 21st. Okay. And uh, ironically, October 10th is my husband and I's 30th anniversary. So oh. I mean, talk about a bucket list trip where yes. you get to go do something on, on a special occasion. That's even better right yes what's the weather in october there it's opposite it's spring. here spring it's just spring, spring there so it, it should be nice yeah you know i think i'll probably bring a couple of you know some cooler weather clothes and sure. some warmer weather clothes and then we'll you know because we're seeing all kinds of cool oh stuff. all kinds of things let's find out exactly what what you're going to be seeing we have uh joining us on zoom uh rob feckler from holiday vacations rob is the expert about this this tour uh rob good to see you we're, we're seeing you you're looking good uh, Thanks, Paula. I'm sure you have taken this tour before, right? You personally? Yeah. Uh, it's been about, uh, oh, maybe 12 trips on this one. Oh, wow. Oh, my. So you can tell me everything I need to know. Yes. <laughs> tell, no, tell, tell, so. tell, tell Sharon <laughs> and all our, our viewers uh, what they can expect from this one, Rob. Well, first of all, Sharon, I hate to tell you this, but you said your anniversary is on the 10th. You're actually going to lose an anniversary this year because you're going to lose that calendar day going over. You know, That's we funny. were looking at the brochure, and I did read that we miss a day that way. So I was like, well, honey, our 30th anniversary doesn't exist. But you know what? I'm willing to sacrifice it to go to Australia. <laughs> That's funny. The date doesn't exist. It is a long travel time over there, isn't it, Rob? It, it is. Uh, we'd either fly from Dallas or Los Angeles. And, of course, if it's Dallas, it'll be a little longer flying time. Uh, Los Angeles works out to be about 13 and a half hours. You probably have to add a couple hours on to that if you're going to go out of Dallas. So, yes, it's a, it's a considerable amount of time. We fly Qantas. It's a nonstop flight in either case. Okay, Qantas. Sometimes mm -hmm. the connections in Dallas are just a little easier than they are out of L.A. But um, we'll be flying nonstop in any case once we leave our country. And uh, we'll leave in the evening hours and arrive early in the morning, typically by 8 o'clock in the morning on the third day of the trip. Well, the, fa the famous Sydney uh, um, Opera House, I think it's about all we know of, I think, most of us yeah, when, I just, we, when we see these shots, right? Yeah, and we're, we're going to tour that. That's one of the highlights of the trip. Wow. T tell us more, Rob. What are some highlights? We're looking at video right now. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. I mean, every day is a highlight. Uh, you mentioned the Opera House. I, you know, I haven't seen it. It's a new state. Uh, in the last couple of years, they completely uh, renovated the uh, concert hall. So we're going to see it at its very peak, its best. Wow. So that's kind of nice, though. But we have a harbor cruise in Sydney. We, oh gosh, we travel to the tropics up in Cairns. We're going to the Great Barrier Reef. We'll take a f helicopter flight over the reef, which is really unique. We'll have a chance to go up into the mountains nearby in the rainforest. We'll take a rainforest walk. Hmm. We'll take a train up to the mountains. It, it's spectacular. But probably my favorite place on the whole trip is actually uh, a little place you've never heard of. It's uh, in Lamington National Park, and it's south of uh, Brisbane. And it's a place called O'Reilly's Guest House. And for two nights, we'll be sitting on top of a mountain 3,000 feet tall in the rainforest and experiencing just about every activity you can man. All the activities are included, wildlife experiences. We have a four-wheel drive trip that's going to be a Billy T, which is kind of like with damper and golden syrup, which they have. A f we have guided walks. Bird walk in the morning is amazing. I encourage everybody to get before breakfast to take the bird walk. Uh, O'Reilly's is uh, it, it's a birder's paradise, so we'll have that opportunity there. So many things, but O'Reilly's a family, and they've been in operation since about 1926. Many generations have continued the property itself and uh it's a highlight for everyone for those two days it's amazing but you know it, it never ends because we go to the australia zoo the next day uh, after leaving there and that is uh, it's incredible the australia zoo is the finest uh, zoo in australia and certainly 
one of the most important ones for wildlife conservation. So that's critical. So so many things. Uh, the trip every day unfolds, and it's uh, you know you're not going to repeat. You're just going to see things that are new and exciting every single day. It's 13 days of that, Sharon. You're going to be exhausted. I, I will be. <laughs> I, well, and the time change probably will get us a little bit. Oh, but you yeah. know what? I'm just so looking forward to this. And it's a I, big, cool trip. Yeah. Well, when you said bucket list, that's exactly what I said yeah. when it was proposed to me to go there. I'm like, sure. you know what? How could you turn something like this down? Oh, for real. And so if you want to take part in this, uh, there's a couple things we want you to know right Sharon yeah there's a travel show on Tuesday which is May 17th it's at 10 o'clock in the morning it's via zoom so uh, and we have all the information um, I think on the bottom yeah, of your screen it's, right there. it's real easy to do but if you you need to do it because you get your your hundred dollar coupon yes so per, you, per person per traveler so if you're traveling with a couple people you know save a couple hundred dollars yep. you can use that to buy souvenirs yeah <laughs> and you know it really is gonna be a real popular trip it will it'll fill up so if you're even thinking about it a little bit Spring in Australia, except it's going to happen in October. October here, but <laughs> spring there. I know it's kind of confusing, isn't it? And then you can celebrate Sharon and Brian's anniversary. Maybe, because it Maybe. doesn't exist. The day, the, the day is off the calendar, but <laughs> it'll be oh. fine. Uh, Rob, thank you for the info. Um, we're going to let you go now, okay? But, uh, but but I know Sharon's looking forward to it, and I, we can't wait to see the pictures and all the good stuff. Oh, and you right? know I'm going to have to clean some of my phone out so I have room for all the you pictures. You better, you better. <laughs> thank you, Rob. Take care. We'll say goodbye my to you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me on board. Yes, thank you. And so, Sharon, bye -bye. If, um, if they want to update this again, we'll have you back. You know, just, oh, sure. just in case, like, if there's just a few spots left, because I think it's going to be a hot one. So. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I'm super excited. Yeah. So, you know, cool. October can't get here soon enough. Uh, well, I know, but we don't want to wish the summer away. Although, well, that's true. Right Right now it is 95 degrees in the studio. It, yeah, our air conditioning doesn't work, so it's, Can you it's believe a little warm. It? Well, <laughs> that's, that's just fine. Anyway, all right, Sharon. Thanks. That's fun. Thanks, Paula.